Hi, in this video, today we are going to discuss about uh, analytical studio because in the last session, uh, I discussed about uh, CRM analytics to create any kind of applications and all. That's what in the previous video, which I have uh, uh, discussed with you. In today's video, as far as the role of a business analyst, as well as the admin roles, it's always important for us to create dashboards because dashboards will provide you visualization of the progress of the work or the kind of activities what we are going to create or perform. In this regard, so when we are working on analytical studio in Salesforce application, so we have CRM analytics, even application creation was done earlier. Now, how to create dashboards is what something which we are selecting, working on now. So whenever we want to create dashboards and all, there will be two different options. One is to create a blank dashboard. At the same time, if you want to create a dashboard based on the templates which were already existed. So in this regard, I'm selecting a create a blank dashboard because it's always important for us to learn to create a blank dashboard as fresh in spite of using the templates and all. So that here you can see create a blank dashboard. So this is how generally the new dashboard looks like, wherein if you want to provide any uh, name of this particular dashboard, you can give it so that simply I'm just giving as, right? So inventory management, for example, I'm just giving an example, right? So inventory management is what something which I'm giving here for the dashboard. So I have created. Now here we need to provide the default name of it. At the same time, how many columns we have, something which we have to select with. So it depends on the columns, whatever is required. So here we can, we have taken three, three, six, seven, eight, right? So eight columns were taken here. At the same time, even we can select the rows also, what are the roles do we have and all. Let me confine these roles to that extent possible. That is one thing which can be done. At the same time, if you want to create any kind of cell spacing or something like which can be done here. Now here I'm just selecting the color combinations because these color combinations are something uh, making dashboards more attractive. Okay, for that purpose, generally this is being used here. Next, what are the devices are we going to create? At the same time, the kind of operations or orientations and all. So that can be selected even. So next, if you want to create any kind of themes, right? So if you want to create any kind of border themes and all everything can also be selected. So this is the external elevation of the dashboard, what is to be created initially to start with. This is what something which we have created. Now, if you want to create any kind of query for a particular dashboard and all, it's always important for us to search the data sets at the same time, whatever the Salesforce objects do we have, or as if there is any kind of data sets to be have and all everything can be selected. For example, if you want to select, a, uh, for example, account, right? So client segmentation is one thing which we have selected. So wherein we have to select the uh, client recommendations and also which was selected already there. Now, if you want to create any kind of charts or tables and all everything can be created. So this is where and how generally the query which we have selected some time back, which I told you, for a related stuff that query was created. Wherein we, if you want to title the query and all, wherein we can do this, right? So if you want to create any kind of query or if you want to provide any kind of title, subsequently we can provide the title for a particular query bodies that we are created, etc. At the same time, if you want to create any kind of charts, whatever are existed or whatever are related here, so wherein we have to provide the uh, charts and all everything is what something which can be done. At the same time, if you want to create any kind of tables or if you want to create any kind of links, because linking for other applications and the other dashboards are essentially required when we are working on. So links are something required. So when we are creating a dashboard as far as an admin role or a uh, business analyst role when we are going to create any kind of dashboards it's always important for us to understand the importance of charts when to be prepared at the same time when tables to be prepared and when the links has to be created followed by this if there is any kind of containers to be created everything has to be created accordingly at the same time if you want to ins incorporate or insert any kind of images can also be done here 
This is how generally the dashboards can be created when we are working on any application. So once it is done, if you want to see any kind of preview over there, so we can see the preview followed by this. If you want to save this dashboard, we can save the dashboard. It depends on the kind of versions what we have taken. And of course, inventory management description can be written. And I'm selecting this as my private app because this is all something we are creating for ourselves. Private app is what something which I have created. Here you can see the dashboard was created and you are clicking on save and you are simply you are selecting and uh, your see, dashboard inventory was saved. So this is how generally the dashboards to be created being a, uh, being a business analyst or an administrator, this is important. Whatever the tables are we going to create and how this is can be edited depends on the requirement what we have. It may have some uh, different uh, requirements, right? So it depends on the kind of components we are going to create, depends on the kind of application, what is that we are going to create how these dashboards to be created and how these dashboards can be incorporated is what something which being a business analyst or an administrator one has to understand. This is all about this video. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, please reach out to the contact details which will be provided in below to this video. Thank you.